Hello everyone, we are now in week seven. You are gonna create something new based upon the photograph that you took last week. You're gonna create a piece of art from that photograph. This is the last week of official art assignments. Next week will just consist of a feedback survey and the opportunity for you to finish or revise anything that you turned in for weeks one through seven. Each week I've tried my hand at different styles of art and I'm learning along with you. And I've tried doing things by hand and this week I'm gonna to return to my roots, which is doing digital art. I'm gonna recreate my scene using Google Drawings. So I pushed myself this week I used paper. We have drawers full of colored paper downstairs that we use to make cards and other things. So I used that. I stayed away from the computer this week. I stayed away from my camera this week. And I just focused on using my hands and what I have in the house. And I want you guys to do the same thing. Right here on slide 15, the criteria for success. You will create an artwork that represents your chosen landscape in a new and creative way. You could paint, you could do a collage, you could draw, color, use unconventional materials, or you could go digital. Now, honestly, these last seven weeks, the hardest thing for me has been finding a great place to work. So this time I'm gonna continue working outside because it's a place that makes me feel happy. It's quiet, other than the occasional lawnmower in the backyard, um, but I love the sound of the birds. So hopefully you can find a great place to work to finish up your assignments for all your classes in these next two weeks. This week we are recreating a landscape the same landscape that you chose last week in week six with your Google screenshots. So I'm gonna put my picture as one of the Google slides so that I can look at it easily. And the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a background. I'm gonna match the sky color and make that be my background. I can see by looking at my picture that I have a bunch of different shapes going on. I can imagine that my picture is made up of many different triangles and squares and maybe even some ovals so I'll use that as a base. The key thing is I don't have to make it look identical. I am creating an impression of my place and the goal is just to be able to see the inspiration from my photo on how I got to my end art product. I took a screenshot of my hometown in Jupiter, Florida. The beach road was one of my favorite places to go. In high school it was the place to hang out surfing with my friends. It looks a little different now. The sides of the road back then were muddy and gross, which kept all those non-beach people out of the way. So I chose the beach road. However, when Google Maps went through with their van with the camera on the top, they didn't catch it at my favorite time of the day. My favorite time of the day at the beach is sunrise. It's quiet, there's nobody there. It's just the waves breaking, beautiful colors in the sky. So I combined the screenshot that I took with my favorite time of the day, which is sunrise, and use that as my inspiration. And I want you guys to do the same thing. If you pick the beach and you pick sunset, awesome. Make yourself a sunset at the beach. If you love the mountains in the morning with a clear blue sky, then show me that. It does not have to be exactly like your screenshot. I want to recreate this photograph on paper. So I have to figure out where the major lines are. There's a horizon line between the sky and the water and the dock follows along the water. So really I have my horizon line happens to cut right across the middle and the dock goes from almost the bottom center and points off towards the horizon. When you're all done, your final product has to be pasted right here in slide 17. And then you're gonna to have to answer some questions on slide 18. Remember, you can do this project with all kinds of materials. You don't have to just draw. It could be paint, collage, it could be digital. Think about all the materials that you have. I want you to enjoy the process. Be proud of what you created. Don't rush. Plan out your design and colors. Make something awesome. I look forward to seeing your creations.